Hello everyone, my name is Thoflood and today I'm bringing you a tutorial where I show you how to make a Raycast Reflect and it looks something like this. Uh, just as a quick note, if you do not want to watch the video and you just want the script and the needs of your project, you can support me on Patreon and you'll get it straight away. Uh, it'd be like a dollar, it's not a lot, you know, maybe consider giving to the, the poor and homeless. I'm not homeless, don't worry. Now the first thing we're going to need just to make sure that the script can't run without it is a required component line render. And that's just to ensure that the, yeah. Well, I literally just said that. Then we're going to go ahead and clear a variable that is going to define how many reflections we actually want. The next one is to determine how long our raycast is going to be. Uh, and well, yeah, that's it. Next off, we're just going to declare the line render component. Uh, and then we're going to get that later. Uh, we need a variable for our ray. And we also need a variable for the raycast hit. Then we also need a vector 3 for our direction that we want the ray to go in. And that's it boys, that's all our variable. But in the awake function, let's go ahead and get the component for the line render so we don't have to do it manually, eh? But you know, to make any reflections work, we need a ray. So let's go ahead and make that. You know, just do ray, just do a new ray and set the position to the transfer the position of the object that we have the script on and in a direction that's, I mean, you can use whatever direction you want, but just put it as forward, all right? So we fucking, then we're buddies, we could twin. Then you just want to set the position count of the line render to be equal to one this essentially sets the amount of vertices that you want the line to follow to two because it starts at zero then you can set the first vertex position in the line renderer to the transform dot position next up we're going to make a variable called remaining length and we're going to set that to currently the max length and we're going to use this later so don't worry then you can just make a for loop and set the length to reflections. This is going to loop for the amount of reflections that you want. After that, you can just check to see if you hit something with a raycast. You can just do physics.raycast and then just input the ray origin and ray direction. Then we're going to store that in a hit variable. We're going to set the length of it to the remaining length. And then if we hit something, what are we going to do? We're going to do a lot of shit. All right. Well, actually, it's pretty simple. Don't worry. Don't be scared. We're going to we're going to set the line render dot position count to be plus equals one is going to increase the vertex count by one each time we loop through the for loop. Well, granted, we hit something as well. I'm going to set the line render set position. Line render dot position count minus one. Do you have twix? No. What are you eating? Cookies. And then I'm gonna set the vertex position to the hit on point. Then we're gonna subtract the distance between the ray origin to the hit on point with the remaining length, which is then the was the max length. Then we're gonna make a new ray from the hit on point position. Then we're gonna use an inbuilt Unity feature that takes the array direction and bounces it off the hit dot normal. Then we're just gonna check if we didn't hit the collider tag, which in my case is called mirror, well, that we want to reflect off, we'll then break the loop. And that's it. But there is one more thing we have to do. If we don't hit anything with our first raycast, well then we just wanna set the position count minus one and then set the ray origin of that position count plus the ray direction times the remaining length. And that's honestly it. That's all you need for this shit to work. It's, it should be good. Now on to how to use this thing. First things first, just make a cube. Just reset the transform, plop your script on the cube. It's going to create a line render component for you. Then just set your reflections to like a reasonable number, like three and the max length to 100. Now, if you launch your script, it won't look too great. So a lot of settings you can fiddle around with in the line render component and um, you can set the corner vertices to be a lot more smoother and the end vertices to be a lot more smoother and you can also make it a lot thinner and smaller you can also add a material to the laser and uh, make it make it look cool and stuff like that and you can also add a you know a shader so you can have some cool you know all, all kind of stuff and then you can change the amount of reflections you want of course and then you can change the length as well and you can do a lot of weird stuff with it you can animate the the length of the laser you want it like a cool thing in the or you can like animate the amount of reflections or whatever the fuck you want to do you know i just fucking do shit you know yeah. anyways if you just want the full script you can support me on patreon uh, if you just don't want to watch the video, you know, but you already watched the video now to the end, I guess, but you still support me on Patreon, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah.